All right, welcome. My name is Elisa Moore of Spray Paint Art Secrets and Airbrush Painting Secrets, and I want to tell you about some really cool stuff I've discovered. <laughs> this is a review of an epoxy gloss that you can use to put a super high gloss finish on your airbrush or your spray paint paintings. This particular brand is called Art Resin. Art Resin. And it is an epoxy gloss. Now, I first found out about this kind of gloss uh, just visiting art fairs. Sometimes I would go to an art fair and I would see like a gorgeous, really super high gloss painting, like with a thick, like almost a quarter inch thick gloss over it that just made it really pop, really shine. <laughs> Even if the painting itself wasn't so interesting, the gloss made it shimmer and shine and made it look super professional and people were buying this stuff. And, and I really liked the look of these high gloss paintings and I wanted to do it myself. And I did a little investigating and I tried some, some resins, that's what this is, it's a resin. And a lot of them were really bad for you, really smelly, really dangerous, it wasn't something that I really wanted to use and they were really expensive as well. Um, so I was investigating this and I came across this company uh, that sells a product called Art Resin and it says no VOCs, no volatile organic chemicals. That means that you don't really um, need to wear a mask when you use it. You can if you want to be safer, but this is an epoxy, and generally epoxies are, are fairly safe uh, breathing-wise for your health. It's a good thing to do outdoors anyway, but anyway, uh, so, so this was a fairly safe way to create a really high gloss finish, and I want to put a high gloss finish on my spray paint paintings and on my airbrush paintings as well. So I did a spray paint painting with a high gloss finish, and I did a, an airbrush as well, and I want to show you how they came out and I'll show you how I did it. So check it out. Okay, so this is how my airbrush painting came out. I did this on a monitor, on a computer monitor. And I don't know if you can see the gloss. I'm gonna tilt it so you can see the shine. But this, oh man, this resin is so cool. It was so easy to use. It just took me a few minutes, literally. And then like I took some computer parts and I put them in there and they're just, they're on there firm. They'll never come off. So this, this stuff is, is just strong and it's like crystal clear and it makes this monitor look like a real cool piece of art. Check that out. Glossy, super glossy. So I'm thinking some steampunk stuff with this. I'm going to paint some more monitors. And here's how my spray paint art painting came out. It is heavy. And it feels almost like it's under a glass, which I really like. Nice and shiny. It just, it just feels heavier, like one of those heavy credit cards. <laughs> um, and it's just really a really cool thing to do to your painting. So I'm going to put a mat around this, and I'm going to take it to the gallery. Check it out. All right, so here's how you do it. It's really, really simple. You get your two bottles of art resin. They have different things in them. And when they mix together, that's when the magic happens. So you wanna mix equal parts. If you can get a cup that has some measurement uh, markings on it, that's a good thing. That'll help you get it exactly even, but a lot of times you just have to eye it. You can also watch the levels in the bottles themselves to make sure that they're exactly the same. So pour in half of one half of the other and I'm being real careful here to make sure I get them exactly right if you don't get them half and half uh, your drying process might not go so smoothly but if you're if you're fairly careful I haven't had a problem mix it up real good I just got some uh, wooden skewers to mix it up but you can mix it up with whatever something that you can throw away I got this speeded up obviously, so you don't have to watch me mixing and mixing. It's nice to have a level, so you can check up your surface that your painting's on as level so that you're, you get a nice even coat. It doesn't go to one side or the other. Pour it on your spray painting or your airbrush painting or whatever your painting is. Just get it all on there. And then you need something to move that resin around. I'm just using a torn piece of poster board. It's the same stuff I painted on. And get an even coat 
by moving it around with something to spread it, something that works well to spread it around. I like to move it right up to the corner, but not to the corner, just right up to the corner and then push it a little bit towards the corner just to get that corner and then go over all the edges and wipe it off. That seems to work real well. And then just leave it dry overnight. You might want to move it a little bit after a few hours to make sure it doesn't stick to your um, whatever you've got it on top of. Leave it dry overnight and next morning you will wake up and you'll have like a beautiful glass coating on your spray painting. It's awesome. So give it a try. Get some art resin and use this to really um, create a nice finish on your work so that it makes a really nice presentation if you want to sell it. So hope you've enjoyed this. Ciao. Oh, and if you want to learn some of the painting techniques that we use, um, visit spraypaintartsecrets.com and airbrushpaintingsecrets.com and you can learn all those techniques there. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get more free stuff.